Hi, I'm Christine Ledoux. I'm originally from Southwest Louisiana. I've been living and working in New Orleans for the past 12 years. I'm a self-taught mixed media mosaic artist. I work from my home studio in the Bywater Arts Lofts. My obsession with mosaics started in 1999 when I came across a book at my local library. I'd experimented with other mediums and one of them was stained glass. When I realized that I could use it in mosaics, I fell in love with the art form. My approach to my mosaic pieces are very spontaneous. I don't usually work from a plan or pattern. I just let my materials guide my creative process. I love working with glass. I like the way the light reflects off of my pieces and gives it some movement. I also create fused glass tile. Uh, that way I can manipulate color and pattern and it makes the pieces unique to me. For a large scale mosaic uh, application, I start building the mosaic in sections. Um, I use a fiberglass mosaic mesh. Once uh, the sections are complete, they can be transported to any location to be installed. I think coming from three generations of rice and crawfish farmers, I can relate to the Gentilly Resilience Project. Understanding the ebbs and flows of water played a big part in my life. Being near the river and seeing ships float above the streets in my neighborhood makes me very aware of the relationship between water and the city. Since moving to New Orleans, I've had the opportunity to work with the community through workshops and classes. One of my community projects was a courtyard bench at Yaya's Creative Arts Center. Students were encouraged to design and create parts and pieces that were incorporated into the mosaic. I'm proposing a mosaic sculpture with a water motif for the Fillmore Park site. I think having the community be a part of the creative process and making tile to uh, incorporate into the mosaic creates a sense of inclusion, not uh, only in the fabrication of the sculpture, but also uh, in the awareness uh, of the park and its purpose to mitigate flooding in the neighborhood. The shape of the sculpture would be a column using concrete, approximately 30 inches in diameter and uh, seven feet in height. The sculpture represents the relationship between water, the community, and our city.